Good morning, everyone. As you can see from the title of this video and the thumbnail, we haven't lost anyone. So what is this all about? You've seen the church services and funeral services about the deceased being gone. What is that? If you boil it all down to nothing in the pot, it means that we're looking at people who have no hope. I've attended more church services and funeral services than I can count. And in each and every one of them, there is no hope. People really don't know what happens to them when they die. And the preacher, pastors, or whoever who are up in the pulpit are feeding people lies. Telling them that they're dearly departed. They've gone home. They've crossed over to the other side. I get it. I understand. They want to comfort the families. But is it not better to know for certainty what the real hope is and to tell them the truth? If one goes to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, beginning at verse 13, the Apostle Paul really lays it all out. There he's talking to the congregation in Thessalonica, Greece. There he says, Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. So what is the Apostle Paul talking about here? I've mentioned this in previous videos. The Apostle Paul is talking about the resurrection. One has to die and then be resurrected. Now, going back to the church services and funeral services, people have died. And so the preachers, pastors who are officiating say they've gone home. They're not talking about those persons being in a grave and having been resurrected. They're talking about those persons already in heaven. And it is likely what they're referring to as people dying than immediately being taken up into heaven. That's not what Jesus taught. The great resurrection of the dead has not occurred yet. The great resurrection is going to be a marvelous event, a real event where real people are resurrected out of their graves and brought back to life again here on earth, not resurrected to go up into heaven. Yet no one who has died is lost. All who die are asleep in death and they are waiting for life again that is being born again from the dead. That's what this born again thing means. Being born again from the dead. All who are living are aware in life that we're going to sleep in death. In other words, those of us who are living are aware that one day we too are going to die. And this is what King Solomon said at Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 5. He says there, for the living know that they will die. But the dead know nothing. See the, the contrast there? The living are aware, we're knowledgeable that we're going to die. But those who are already dead, that is, asleep in death, know nothing. So this teaching about persons, say, going into some eternal torment, some hellfire, they don't know anything. They're unaware. They're not aware of pain, heat, torture, the, the passes of time. This is written. Christianity rarely, if ever, touches this because it would chop down this narrative that they've been teaching for decades, for centuries actually, that those who die go to either one or two places. They're gonna to go to some made up place of eternal torment or up into heaven. But I say to you, all who have died are not lost, good or bad. Jesus teaches at John chapter five, verse 28 and 29, do not be amazed at this, for time is coming when all 
who are in their graves will hear his voice and come out. Someone recently commented on the uh, the channel here that, oh, that's allegorical. No, that's not allegorical. That's real. Remember uh, Jesus' friend Lazarus? He died. He was dead for some four or five days. So his body began to decay, turning back into earth. Was he gone? No, because if he was gone, there would have been nothing there for Jesus to resurrect. However, Lazarus was asleep in death. Jesus resurrected him back to life again, and Lazarus did not report being in some place called heaven or in that other made up place. He was dead, just like King Solomon said there at uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 5, for the dead know nothing. So when Lazarus was dead, he knew nothing. And you would think that if in the death state, Lazarus was in a place, say in heaven, and then Jesus brings him back to life again, he would have been very excited and would have said something like, I saw something wonderful, I saw heaven. No, Lazarus didn't do that. Lazarus was dead. And so you see all these videos on YouTube of individuals claiming they've died and they've gone to heaven and they've talked to Jesus. They're lying to you. They're looking you right in the face through their cameras and they're telling you a ball face lie. Don't bite on that. Don't even nibble on it. They're lying to you. Christianity has resorted to the extraordinary, the fantastical, to trick people, even scare people into repentance. If individuals claim they've died and they've gone to heaven or they've gone to that place of eternal torment that they've made up and then they come back to life again, to report it, they're lying. You don't see that anywhere in scripture. So all of the dead are not gone. They're not in heaven. They're not in some made up place of eternal torment. They are asleep in death, awaiting the promised resurrection. Why isn't Christianity teaching that? That's the real hope being resurrected from the dead. That's central. That's why Jesus was sent, that is dispatched into the world of mankind so that we not perish. Not that we not die, because we will die. If one dies, one can be resurrected from the death state. All of us who are living should take comfort that our dead loved ones, friends, family, or whoever, are not gone. They're simply asleep in death, awaiting the future promised resurrection. That's the hope. So they're not gone. Take comfort in that. This is R. Jerome Harris, the disciple. Thank you for listening.